O God, come to our aid. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Alleluia. The martyrs living now with Christ in suffering were tried. Their anguish overcome by love when on his cross they died. Across the centuries they come in constancy unmoved. Their loving hearts make no complaint, in silence they are proved. No man has ever measured love or weighed it in his hand. But God, who knows the inmost heart, gives them the promised land. Praise Father, Son, and Spirit, blessed to guide us through the night, in ways that reach beyond the stars to everlasting light. The Lord is my love and my refuge. In him I place my trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my saviour. My shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath, whose life fades like a shadow. Lo, your heavens have come down, touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe, shoot your arrows and put them to fly. Reach down from heaven and save me, draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes, whose mouths are filled with lies, whose hands are raised in perjury, give praise to the Father Almighty, to His Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. The Lord is my love and my refuge. In him I place my trust. Blessed the people whose God is the Lord. To O God will I sing a new song, I will play on the ten-string tar. To you who gave kings their victory, who set David your servant free, you set him free from the evil sword, you rescued him from alien foes. Whose mouths were filled with lies, Whose hands were raised in perjury, That our sons then flourish like saplings, Grown tall and strong from their youth, 
our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as thou for a palace. Let our bands be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands, myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings, happy the people whose God is the Lord. Give praise to the Father Almighty, to his Son, Jesus Christ the Lord. To the Spirit who dwells in our hearts, both now and forever. Amen. Blessed the people whose God is the Lord. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. We give thanks to you, Lord God Almighty, who are and who were, that you have taken your great power and begun to reign. The nations raged, but your wrath came, and the time for the dead to be judged, for rewarding your servants, the prophets and saints, and those who fear your name, both small and great. Now the salvation and the power and the kingdom of our God and the authority of his Christ have come. For the accuser of our brethren has been thrown down, who accuses them day and night before our God. And they who conquered him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony, for they love not their lives even unto death. Rejoice then, O heaven, and you that dwell therein. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Victory and empire have now been won by our God. My dear people, if you can have some share in the sufferings of Christ, be glad, because you will enjoy a much greater gladness when his glory is revealed. It is a blessing for you when they insult you for bearing the name of Christ, because it means that you have the spirit of glory, the spirit of God resting on you. You have tested us, God, and you have brought us out into freedom again. You have tested us, God, and you have brought us out into freedom again. You have refined us like silver. You have tested us, God, and you have brought us out into freedom again. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. You have tested us, God, and you have brought us out into freedom again. A fire was enkindled in my soul. I was filled with love for the prophets and for those holy men who are the friends of Christ. My soul glorifies the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Saviour. He looks on his servant in a lowliness. Henceforth all ages will call me blessed. The Almighty works marvels for me. Holy is name. His mercy is from age to age. On those who fear him. He pours for his arm in strength. 
and scatters the proud hearted. He casts the mighty from their thrones and raises the lowly. He fills the starving with good things, sends the rich away empty. He protects his really servant, remembering his mercy. The mercy promised to our fathers, to Abraham and his sons forever. Praise the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and forever, world without end. A fire was enkindled in my soul. I was filled with the love for the prophets and for those holy men who are the friends of Christ. Let us give thanks to the King of Martyrs, for this was the hour when he offered himself in the Last Supper and laid down his life on the cross. We praise you, Christ the Lord. We praise you, Christ our Saviour, example and strength of the martyrs, because you have loved us to the end. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you were re promised repentant sinners, the reward of eternal life, we praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have called the church to offer the blood of the new and eternal covenant, the blood shed for the remission of sins. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because you have brought us to this day with the gift of faith intact. We praise you, Christ the Lord, because of the many brothers who today have come to share in your saving death. We praise you, Christ the Lord, at the Saviour's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Lord God, in a wonderful way, through the folly of the cross, you taught your martyr Saint Justin the surpassing knowledge of Jesus Christ. Heed his prayer for us, dispel every deceiving error, and grant us firmly in our faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord bless us and keep us from all evil and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.